Hello everyone and welcome to my video. I'm Dr. Mahdi. Today I have a new video for you about kili chemistry. I mean polymerization process using, using kili chemistry reaction. At the end, if you like this video, please push the like, press the subscribe button and also share it with your friends. Now let's start the video. First, I would like to give you a definition of a polymer and polymerization. I mean polymer is a large molecule which is made of many repeating subunits uh, that we call them monomers. I mean uh, polymers are created by a polymerization of many small molecules which are called monomers. And also uh, polymerization. Polymerization is a process of reacting the monomer uh, molecules together to form polymer chain or three-dimensional networks. In this video, we would like to investigate using kili chemistry for doing polymerization. But question is here, why kili chemistry? Kili chemistry has a lot of advantages. I mean kili chemistry is a class of robust chemical reactions. I mean with kili chemistry, we can have very robust bonds. And also uh, simple reaction conditions and high yields and compatibility with different kinds of solvent are another advantages of Kili chemistry reaction. Uh, in this study, we have in this video, uh, we have investigated uh, some types of kili reaction for doing polymerization. The first one is thiol epoxy kili reaction. I mean, we would like to use thiol epoxy kili reaction for polymerization. It's a reaction between epoxy and thiol. We also call it ring opening because after uh, uh, reaction, I mean, uh, we don't have ring anymore. Please note, it's very, very important. If you would like to use kili reaction for doing polymerization, uh, you need to have at least two different types of monomers. I mean, definitely final product will be copolymer, not homopolymer. If you have only one type of uh, monomer, definitely you cannot use kili reaction for doing polymerization. And also it's very, very important. For example, here you have two monomers. For example, here you have two monomers. On the surface of one monomer, you have epoxy. On the surface of another monomer, you have thiol. It's very important. You need to have at least two epoxy groups on every monomer. I mean, on the surface of this monomer, you need to have uh, two epoxy groups. And also on the surface of uh, another monomer, you need to have at least two thiol groups. If you have only one epoxy on the surface of your monomer or no, one thiol on the surface of your monomer, definitely you cannot use kili reaction for doing polymerization. Let me give you an example. In this example, you will understand it very well. For example, we have two monomers. On the surface of one monomer, we have thiol. Here you can see we have two thiol groups. And also on the surface of another monomer, we have epoxy. Again, we have two epoxy groups. And after doing kili reaction, we will have a uh, polymer like this and we call it reactive uh, poly, uh, poly beta hydroxyl thioethers. But question is here, why reactive? Because uh, still you can see we have some uh, hydroxyl on the surface of uh, polymer and I mean they like to participate in more reactions and after that we, uh, they can participate in reaction. You can see and we call it functionalized poly polymer. First, we made polymer with using kili reaction, and after that, polymer participated in some more reactions, and now we have functionalized polymers. And uh, naphthoyl chloride is another uh, is uh, an example. I mean, it can it can participate in reaction with reactive polymer, and after that, we will have functionalized polymer. Uh, amine epoxy is another type of kili reaction can uh, be used for uh, polymerization. Uh, it's a reaction between epoxy and amine, and again, we can call it ring opening because after this type of kili reaction, we don't have ring anymore. I would like to give you an example for the, this type of polymerization. For example, on the surface of this monomer, uh, we have two epoxy groups, and again, here you can see on the surface of this monomer, we have two amine groups and after uh, polymerization we will have a polymer like this. I mean there are uh, many uh, compounds with epoxy or amine groups that uh, they can be used for polymerization. Uh, here I would like to give you some examples. Uh, for example, so soybean oil. Uh, 
uh, it's a monomer and on this uh, on in, in, i mean in the structure of a soybean oil you can find six uh, epoxy groups or no we can use for example trigilicidyl uh, ic cyanuret with uh, three epoxy groups and also if you are looking for a monomer with amine group for example you can use diethylene uh, teriamine with uh, two amine uh, groups or uh, amphenyl uh, ediamine with two amine groups there are uh, many uh, chemicals with epoxy or uh, amine here uh, just wanted to give you some example Uh, thiol alken or uh, thiolen is another type of clic reaction can be used for uh, polymerization. It's a reaction between thiol and alken. Uh, for doing this reaction, we need UVI radiation and also photo initiator. Uh, after doing clic reaction, double bond uh, turns into single bond. And now I would like to give you an example. For example, uh, in the structure of this monomer, we have two double bonds, I mean two alken, and also in the structure of uh, this monomer we have four thiol groups and after UVI radiation and photo initiator now we will have a polymer like this the last example is uh, azide alkyne polymerization it's a type of clic reaction it's a reaction between azide and alkyne for doing uh, this type of clic reaction we need copper as a catalyst that's why we call it CUAAC copper alkyne azide cycle addition but the thing is here in we would like to do metal free uh, polymerization I mean we don't want to use uh, copper as a catalyst then we use heat I mean we increase the temperature to 100 degree definitely when we use copper reaction rate should be uh, much faster than when we use heat but anywhere uh, we would like to do a uh, metal free polymerization here you can see an example on uh, in the structure of this monomer we have two alkyne and also in the structure of this uh, monomer we have two azide groups and after uh, i mean after uh, doing click reaction with increase in temperature now we will have a polymer like this uh, hope you found this video useful uh, if you would like to know more about Kili chemistry, I recommend you to study my uh, papers that you can see list of them. All of them are about Kili chemistry reaction. If you like this video, please push the like, uh, press the subscribe button and also share it with your friends. And you can also hit the bell. In this case, you will get notification whenever I publish a new video. And also at the end, please don't forget that life is short and enjoy it. Thank you so much and bye.